when you give love to others, even when you expect absolutely nothing in return, love comes back to you. I like to say that love splashes up on us when we give it, especially when we give it to people who cannot or will not reciprocate. When we put our love into action, when we do something for somebody else, we feel good. We feel better about ourselves, especially when it's something that we do naturally. What my colleague Marty Dutch says is our no big deal because we know we can do it. We know we're good at it. Now, let me tell you, I know that it can be really hard, especially when you're trying to love somebody into wholeness who is wounded. And when I say wounded, I mean grouchy, irritable, mean. Loving somebody like that can feel like pouring water into a bucket that has holes in the bottom. You just feel like it's never going to end. But trust me on this because I was the leaky bucket. When you pour love into somebody, you're planting seeds. Now those seeds will take root and they will grow. You have to trust, even if you're not going to be around to enjoy the fruit from that tree, from the seeds that you planted, that it's a good thing to do. You have to trust that it works because what happens is, if, if you feel love from me, your tank is filled a little bit better and you're able to give love to somebody else that fills their tank a little bit and they're better able to go and love somebody else and on and on it goes. And that's how we change people and neighborhoods and communities. We know that unconditional love is the only measurable, sustainable, change agent and the good news is it's completely free all of this is why i launched the love is action community initiative if you will join me in putting your love into action i want you to go to loveisaction.com